welcome. People hopping on, that's so exciting to see. And we are on day one of our seven day online influence challenge. And I've been asking those of you who are hopping on, I wanna know, are you interested simply in, it, it, I mean, powerful, having an influence? Or do you want to grow, be, begin with influence and grow beyond that to the place where you're able to, able to actually make an income, putting forth the message that God has placed on your heart? So if you could maybe just type in the notes where you're at. Do you want to have an impact, influence, or do you also want income? So let me know that because I'm, I mean, we're doing this live. I have, I have the workbook ready. Okay. Full disclosure. <laughs> I have the first five days completely done. It was one, as I said, it was 21 days. So I'm just having to edit it down and cut out stuff that maybe is nice to know, but not critical for just a seven day class. And, uh, I have the first five days completely done. And each day after the live session, I'll go ahead and post up my notes. I'm going to be looking at my notes on my iPad here. And uh, as soon as we're done, um, you'll be able to see the replay and I will post up my notes. And so you'll have them each day. You'll have some assignments and I've recommended some resources. Most of them are for me and a lot of them are free. So um, I will post that up at the end of each day. And then at the end of the seven days, I'll put it all together into one workbook and you'll be able to take that with you. And I did mention this on the registration page. When I taught this seven years ago for the first time, and uh, it was paid class, 21 day paid class. And I had a woman in it who said, Donna, I just spent two years and $100,000. For a program that covered kind of the same same make an impact and an income on the internet she said i learned more from you in 21 days than i did in two years for a program that i spent a hundred thousand dollars on uh i don't know if i'm going to be able to deliver that much value in seven days but i'm going to deliver value and i'm going to go ahead and jump in just breathe if this isn't a sales pitch if there's one thing i cannot stand and it really makes me sad. I used to do webinars all the time, but then webinars turned into like one big sales pitch and then people just don't want to attend anymore. It's sad. You know, they just spoil it for everybody. So I'm going to teach you that I'm not going to spend a week trying to sell you something. I'm actually going to do a seven day online influence challenge and share with you what I've learned about how to make an impact and an income online and to be a kingdom influencer with that i'm going to go ahead and dive in so here we are we're on day one of the seven day online influence challenge and i'm going to open in prayer lord we just thank you so much that you have given us an opportunity to shine a light that can reach all over the world that we can literally work from anywhere and reach people everywhere in this critical hour as the world is growing darker and darker and darker our lights can shine ever brighter and we thank you for this week we thank you for this opportunity god i pray that you would give me just clarity wings to get to the point god would you help me with technology and would you help my throat my lungs just to be strong and to deliver this message for your people. I pray that out of this seven days that you would raise up kingdom influencers, those who would make an impact for your kingdom and who would also be able to make an income for themselves and for the kingdom. Even kingdom financers are going to grow out of this week. I believe that. Lord, just show me that. Okay, amen, amen, amen. Okay, I'm going to give you an overview. God gave me an acronym, and it was soaring. And I will tell you, just disclaimer, right up front, the X factor in all of this is the favor of God. The Bible tells us that God promotes. Promotion is not from the east, west, the north, or the south. Promotion is from the Lord. And uh, you, you, I'm sure you've heard the teaching on, on the seven mountains of influence and that God is calling us to, to be kingdom influencers. 
And there's a couple ways to get to the top of a mountain. You know, one is to slug and climb. Another is to soar. If you're an eagle, you just kind of fly to the top of the thing. And I believe that when you have the favor of God upon your life, it, ju it just changes everything. I, I watch people. No matter what they touch, it's just favor of God, favor of God, favor of God. So absolutely the most important thing, and I'm going to teach you technical stuff, but there is nothing more important than walking in the favor of God online. The opportunities are endless. There, I think Facebook alone has like a billion people, two billion. It's a crazy number. But there are billions of people on the internet. I have traveled in ministry. I should probably introduce myself. Hey, I'm Donna Parto. Most of you know me. Some of you may not. Uh, I wrote my first book 30 years ago. I know that because I wrote it when my oldest daughter was in a brand new baby in a snuggly pouch. So I've been a Christian um, author for 30. I should go back. God called me into ministry 40 years ago. The, July. We're in July. Wow, just hit me. July of 1980, I became a Christian. And the next day, God called me into ministry. I've, and I've, I've been in ministry for 40 years. This month. Wow. I think next week will be my 40th, 40-year 40 anniversary with the Lord. Wow, that's crazy. And 30 years, I've been an author, Christian influencer, and 24 years ago, probably closer to 25, I was pregnant with my youngest daughter. And the president of Doubleday had his assistant contact me because they were going to build the first content site on the world, world Wide Web. I had no idea what they were talking about. But it was the first content, the first real like website that people could engage with. So I've been creating content on the internet pioneered it for 24 years. I've been around for a really long time. And I got off on a tangent and introduced myself. Anyway, so now you guys know I've been at this for a long time. And the Lord told me when I was pregnant 24 years ago that the internet was going to emerge. I didn't understand it, but I knew that God, God opened this door for me. And he said, it's going to be a really dark place, but I want you to shine a light. And it was controversial. Because I was already, you know, like a best-selling author. And here I am on this secular website with people, profanity and all the horoscopes and all this darkness. And I'm there in the middle of it. And it was really controversial. And, uh, of course, now we're all on the Internet. And that's what I wanted to say. There are, I've been all over the world in ministry. And I can be in the most re remote location in you know, Papua New Guinea, on the border of Zimbabwe, the mountains of Colombia, favelas in Brazil, people who have absolutely nothing, but somehow have a cell phone, like a smartphone, and the internet. Everywhere I've gone. And they're online, and they're on Facebook, and they're on Instagram. The very wealthy, wealthy middle-class women are on Pinterest. The, I'm doing this on Facebook. So, I mean, Facebook is the main thing, really, still. It's changing. Instagram is, is kind of eclipsing Facebook, uh, depending on the demographic market. But I've been saying for years that God is calling us to be a light on the Internet. And that the ability... To work from anywhere with just your laptop, I've got my laptop, I got my cell phone, I got my iPad, I got the internet. I can do this from anywhere. And I can reach people everywhere. And that is what God is wanting to raise up an army of kingdom influencers who are willing to let their voice be heard. And this, I just, I'm, this isn't in order. I do have a plan. I do have a day, but... I was just as I was getting ready thinking of this. So many of you are like, well, I don't know, like, what should I talk about? Where should I spend my time? I'm, I'm on Facebook all day long. I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. 
because I'm afraid that I'm going to forget. And this is like fresh revelation here. Y'all, and I did this for all of us, not just this is for everybody. If you want to be an online influencer, you're not going to do that thumbs upping your neighbor's cat videos. See, right, you're like, Donna, where am I going to find time? Stop. You need to stop doing some things. You need to stop doing what doesn't matter and start doing what matters. Stop being, and I'm getting a little bit ahead, but don't be a passive consumer and especially don't be a passive consumer of stuff that doesn't even matter. And become instead a proactive producer, creator of content that matters. You take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Holy Spirit, take the wheel. And just, I'm telling you, if you miss everything else this week and you just get that one thing and you're like, Donna, I want to have a greater impact. I want to have an influence. I want my time online to make a difference and to shine for God. That one shift will change everything. That mindset shift. I'm not going to go online and waste my day as a passive consumer of stuff that doesn't matter. I'm going to be intentional and proactive in creating and contributing only what matters. And now some of you are wondering, well, what topic? I'm fascinated by this. I'm fascinated by that. How can I let my voice be heard? Some of you are already like, and I know, I know some of you, like Robin, Hope, I'm telling you, you better get that Hope thing. Billboards, I still say it. Um, I know a lot of you and I recognize you. And you, you know that you're called to, to, to be an influencer. And you're like, but, but what, in what realm? And I'm, again, I'm getting a little bit ahead and I'm going to dive deeper into the, some of this stuff. But this is the way um, that I want you to even begin thinking about it right at the beginning of these seven days. I want you to answer this question. Well, what if I told you, write this down. It's not in the workbook. I might add it. What if I told you, and then you finish that sentence with the most counterintuitive or controversial conviction that you have? Related to an issue, set of problems, topic, it's the only way you're going to let your voice be heard. If you want to be an influencer, you can't just say what everybody else is saying. You can't go online and just fit in. You can't stand out and fit in at the same time. And the only way you're going to become a true kingdom influencer is to be con I'm sorry, counterintuitive and or controversial. That's who gets heard. It doesn't have, you don't have to be a flamethrower, although flamethrowers do get a lot of traction. But think about what has God shown you? What have you learned? You know, again, we're going to go through all this as the week progresses. But as you do think about, well, what if I told you I'll just make something up. What if I told you that you could write a book in a weekend? What if I told you that you could write a book in a weekend? You'd be like, you're crazy. You can't do that. How? Now I've got your attention. What if I told you that you could lose weight eating, eating uh, I don't know, some crazy thing, grapefruit. Something that grabs people's attention. Like, really? That can't be? That's, that's kind of the key to standing out online. Okay, Donna, no more jumping ahead. You need to stay focused. Okay, day one, and we're doing the acronym SOARING, and I would just want to give you an overview, of, and then day one, we're going to focus on being secure in him. Um, so that's S is secure in him, and I will tell you, I'm going to dive deep in this today. This is it. This is foundational because, again, you're going to be, it's crazy online. Haters and, 
you need to know that you know that God has called you to do this. You need to be secure in the message that he's given you. You need to be unflappable, unshakable, because you know who you are. You know what you believe. You know the messages God has given you. And when people start unfriending you and sending you hate, I get hate mail. You'd be amazed. Sending, I got just this morning. I just this morning, I got hate mail from a lady. And it, you just you have, if you let, if you're gonna let that shake you, you're not gonna make it. Because it's gonna happen. And if you. And if you let it shake you, then you're going to like pull back, second guess yourself. You can't shine and hide. You can't move forward and hesitate. You need to go all in and be in it to win it. That's the key. And the foundation of that is being secure in him, in his call upon your life. I just, I've always been a pioneer. I'm always about 10 years ahead. So I get all the arrows in my back. But now more than ever, that's what it, you've got to be a pioneer. You've got to be a little bit out there, edgy, controversial. I had someone I was helping and, and uh, she was writing, uh, she was writing a book and she basically said what everybody is saying. I'm like, is it going to work? Not anymore. I mean, there was a time when you could do that, but you're not going to be heard. You've got to come up with a, what if I told you kind of a thing that's going to grab people's attention and then you can invite them into your world. Um, and then O is to own your niche. Biggest problem that I see. And again, I've been helping people do this for over a decade. Biggest problem that most people, um, they, they're a communicator, so they like, they want to, everything fascinates them and they want to tell people everything they know on every topic or they're entrepreneurial and they have a new idea every 15 minutes. That's, I mean, I'm both of them. Any topic under the sun fascinates me. And so I could just go off and you know, lay, I could talk about ladybugs one week and I could talk about missions and I, that, I, I'm telling you the same stuff. But if you're going to have an impact, influence, and especially generate income, you're going to have to pick a niche, pick a lane and own that niche. And it needs to be narrow. And this is, this is what people struggle with because they think, well, you know, I'll just, I'll, I'll help everybody with everything. I'll be a, a lifestyle guru. No, you can't start there very narrow niche. And I'll, I'll give you some examples as we go along. So S is secure in him. O is own your niche. And then A is always be sewing. And I'm reading an excellent book. Really, really good. I'm gonna, I might go review it and, and share some tips from it. But one thing really jumped out at me. And as I've watched people, I think it's really true that if you would create really valuable content. Again, we'll get in this in the days to come every day for a year. I want you to make that. That's one of the commitments I want you to make before this week is done. That for one full year, you are going to show up every day and make a contribution on one topic that specifically helps a group of people with a problem that they're facing. And if you will do that, this is what the guy said, and I, and I believe it's true. He said, if you will consistently show up every day for a year, you'll never have money problems again. For those of you who want to make income, I'm talking about doing a daily podcast every day for a year, doing a Facebook live every day for a year, um, Instagram stories every day for a year. If I, anybody, I, th this, this is the truest true, write it down, take it to the bank every day for a year, create content that makes a contribution around a specific niche that targets a group of people who have a specific problem or on a specific journey that you can help. You'll never have money problems again.
It, it, it works. I've watched it. And, and the people who don't make it are the people who veer off and don't stay on that one topic. Always be sewing. And the good news is, this is so true. God gives seed to the sower. And I, I, I actually love that idea. It's like, you're a sower, and because you're a sower, then you get the seed. Did you catch that? It's not like, well, God gives seeds, and then you can become a sower. Like, well, where do you get the seeds? Be by being a sower, God says, hey, someone's out there sowing. You better give them some seeds. And I've, I've lived this so many times. It's like, I have no idea what I'm going to say. Not a clue. I cannot tell because I, again, I'm not, as, I'm not active really on social media like I used to be a decade ago. I was one of the first people on Facebook. I literally, true story, back in 2008, had to send people an instructional video explaining that there was this newfangled thing called Facebook and give them step-by-step -step instructions on how to join it. That's how long I've been doing this. Okay. So I'm not as active as I used to be. But, but one thing that I learned from experience is that when you put yourself out there and say, I'm going to show up, I'm going to do this. Lord, I'm doing it. You told me, scared to him. You told me to do this thing and I'm going to do it. And I don't know where I'm going to get the seed to sow. Now, when I, when I talk about seed, I'm talking about what you're going to teach, what you're going to say, how you're going to be that influencer. I'm telling you, if you don't hear, I'm telling this is this is it. God gives seed to the sower. So when you announce, and I'm going to challenge you to do this, just like I did. I said, you know, I'm going to do a seven-day online influence challenge. It didn't exist when I sent that. Now, I've taught similar material. But when I first began online back in, I think I first started doing it in 1999. I would just say to a group of women, okay, we're going to do a 90 days on Renewing spirit, soul, and body. It didn't exist. I'm going to do a class on how to take your message to the world. I'm going to do a class on experiencing the power of God. And I said, okay, everybody sign up for it. None of those classes existed when I said it. Did somebody just get that? But when, but the Lord said, okay, I want you out of your own journey to help women get healthy in spirit, soul, and body. I want you out of your own experience to help people who want to write a book or whatever. And when you're, again, secure in him, when you know that you know God wants you to help some people, then you just put yourself out there. You commit yourself to it. I'm going to challenge you before this week is over. And you believe that because you've positioned yourself as a sower, as a vessel that God can use for kingdom influence online, you know and you believe God's going to give you that seed. You're going to wake up to, I was just blow drying my hair, my horrible hair. And God said, hey, here's a download. Tell them this. He will do it for you. Now, there's a, again, it's a partnership. You know, if you're spending all day watching Netflix, it's a little bit harder to have seed worth selling. But if you're doing everything that you know how to do and your heart is to really make a difference online and to serve people, I am telling you, God will be faithful. If you are faithful with what you know how to do and you put yourself out there, God's not going to leave you hanging. He's going to be faithful. And I know some of you, and you, God has been calling you forever. Just put yourself out there. It's time. Go out there. Sierra, I love you. I'm so excited for you to launch. 
Sarah has written her autobiography. I cannot wait to share it with all of you. Talk about influence. Amazing, amazing. American and indigenous woman and the journey God took her from complete brokenness, shattered to Harvard University. And now the chief leader of her tribe. I mean, it's amazing. You guys are going to be so inspired by her story. I can't wait to tell it. But I know some of you, and I'm watching you, and even those of you who don't know, it's like you're waiting, and I shared this example with Sierra. You know, you're like waiting, 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 waiting to take the leap. And God says, take the leap. Put yourself out there. And God will draw to you those who need what you carry. It's time. I mean, the internet is getting darker and it's crazy. I mean, this is the moment. I mean, everybody's trapped in their house. I'm doing this live. I don't want to say too much that dates this because I want this to be a program that people can go through in the future, but I'm recording it live in, in 2020. And we're on COVID lockdown and no one's allowed to leave their house. I mean, this is the perfect time <laughs> for you to, to hop online and to begin to share what God has given you. Okay, so be secure in him. Own your niche. Narrow. Oh my good. Narrow, narrow, narrow topic. And then always be sewing. Sewing, sewing, sewing. And it's just this vert, it's just this blessed cycle of Lord, I'm willing to put myself out there. You better give me something. Do you know how many times I'm like, Lord, you better give me something? I remember I, I've shared this story. You may have heard me talk about this. I was doing women's conferences in the Middle East. And uh, it was, you know, there are Christians. Did you know that in the Middle East? Arab, especially Arab Christians. They've been Christians since the Book of, Pente uh, Book of Acts at Pentecost. But I showed up at one event uh, for, the Ira for Iraqi women, and a third of them were Muslim. I'm like, Lord, I'm here. I'm willing. I don't know what to say. Do you think God was not faithful? Hello. Why would he be faithful to me and not to you? You were all his children. Of course he'll be faithful. He's just looking for he's just looking for someone who's willing to step up and put herself put herself or himself. We had a lot of men sign up for this. Um, as well. So always be sung. R is to remember the three R's. And this is kind of I almost wish this was first, but I it's an acronym. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Research, results, and role model. You need to do your research, okay? This is kind of the other side. So maybe it is good the way I have it. Yay, God's going to give you seed to sow. But part of the way God gives you seed is as you're reading and listening to podcasts and uh, attending online events. And when the world opens up again, attending real events, it's your own study, your own research, your own learning. As you get results, in your own life and, and help other people get results. And then you become a role model and role model doesn't mean perfect. And again, I don't wanna to get too far ahead. We're gonna dive into this. We're gonna spend a whole day on each of these, but role model can just be a chapter ahead. It's actually not a good, it's a true story of a guy who was actually a con man. So it's not a good story, but he like pretended to be a college professor and he, like wasn't even a high school graduate. And they're like, how are you a college professor? And he said, well, I just stayed a chapter ahead. And that's all you need to be is one chapter ahead, one step ahead. You don't need to know everything. You just need to know more than the person you're helping. That's all. So when I say role model, really, because you're on the journey too, and you're transparent. And yes, you're trusting the Lord that as you put yourself out there, he's going to give you seed to sow. But kind of the, typically the way he does that, sometimes it's just a revelation in a download. But typically it's as you're researching, as you're studying, as you're uh, focusing on your own personal and, and professional development and being intentional. That's, you know, that's how you grow. You've got to always be growing. If you want to be an influencer, you've got to influence yourself first. I love, my, I mean, who doesn't love Joyce Meyer, right? She's like, Christians want to take dominion over the devil and they haven't yet taken dominion over the kitchen sink, right? So it's, you need to 
take dominion over your own life, take dominion over your own schedule, take dominion over your own use of the internet. That's where I start at. You need to make the decision now, this week, as of now. I'm not gonna be a passive consumer of stuff that doesn't matter. I'm gonna be a proactive creator of stuff that does. I'm gonna speak what matters. I'm gonna study what matters. And that's what I'm gonna put forth in the world. And then out of that, what God is giving, even supernaturally, what you're learning, what you're gathering, as you, in, with integrity, walk out the same journey that you're inviting people to take, you then, I is inform your tribe. And again, just, this was so liberating for me. And I think it's going to be liberating for a lot of you. Some of you who, I mean, you've known, like you look at what I do and you think, I could do that. Why am I not doing that? You have a similar call. That, that's why you're drawn to me. You're following me probably because I'm doing what you're called to do. You're called to write books, probably. You're called to speak or and minister. You're called to have your own business. You're called to, you know, lifestyle freedom. You want to be able to just, when COVID's over, hop on an airplane and, and go minister in the Middle East or Latin America or Kenya or wherever God's calling you. And you've got passive income streams. You're not tied down. You want to do what you see me doing. And I, what I'm going to tell you right now is going to set you free because you've known it for a while and you're hanging back, you're hanging back because you feel like you need to fit. Listen to me. You're, you're waiting until you have it all figured out so that you can teach people what you've figured out. No, that's not how it works. In fact, it is more powerful, far more powerful to just say, you know what, I'm taking this journey. Who wants to take it with me? The, the biggest example is weight loss. And a lot of the you know, direct sales companies will do this and say, hey, I'm signing up to lose weight. I need to lose 50 pounds. Who wants to come lose 50 pounds with me? It's really powerful. Don't wait until you feel like you've arrived or even until you've written a book. Once I write a book, then I'll be an online influencer. No. Do you know how many books I've written live in real time? I started doing this in, I think, 1998. Does anybody remember Yahoo groups? It's just an email. That's how I wrote uh, one of my number one bestsellers, Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be. I said to a group of ladies, look, I want to do this 90 days. Um, God's just been downloading some stuff to me. I really needed to heal. I had decades of you know depression, it doesn't matter. And uh, I was on a healing journey myself. I hadn't arrived. But God was speaking to me about healing. I, anyway, just, I was going to say more about it. It's the background of me. It doesn't matter. I want to talk about you. And so I just sent out an email to a group of women. Like, look, if you want to get healthy in spirit, soul, and body, we could do this together. And every day I'll just, you know, for 90 days, seem like a good number, I'll just share what God shared, gives me. I did it in real time. And I've, I've so many, all of my, every one of my online classes, everything that you see me offer online, all of it was created in real time as I was informing my tribe, informing that group of people God called me to reach in real time. It, does that make sense? Do you understand what I'm saying? I didn't wait to write the book and then say, okay, here it's done. I didn't say, oh, I'm going to create a class. And then after I create a class, then I'm going to help people. No. 
You inform them as you go, invite them, say, Hey, I want to write a book about a rebellious teen. I'm making it up a rebellious teen. What to do about a rebellious teenager. I just made that up. Do this with me. Let's take 30 days and pray for our rebellious teenagers, something and bring them and inform them. What do you glean that morning? What do you glean that morning? And make it in real time. This is for so many of you. Stop waiting and start influencing. And the income will come. Offer it free. I offered that free. I'm going to say it again. I did that free. 90 days. But after I created it, I, saw, I did that in 1999. I just stopped selling it last year. How's your math? 20 years I made revenue. And a lot of years it was a six-figure revenue. Somebody get that? Okay. Did someone's life just change right there? Okay, I'll say it again. I wanted to go on a specific journey. I knew I needed to get healthy in spirit, soul, and body. I put myself out there. I said to a group of people, who else needs to do this? Let's do it together. God's going to give. I'm putting myself out there. I'm positioning myself as a sower. I'm positioning myself as a kingdom influencer. I know God's called me to this journey. I'm going to bring other people with me. Did it for free. Once it was created, I sold it for 20 years and many years it was six figures for me. It also led to a best-selling book. That book has sold, it's got, got to be over 100,000 copies now. And it's been translated into other languages. Stop waiting and put yourself out there now. This week, I'm telling you, Mama Eagle is going to throw some people out of the nest. You know who you are. That was I. Anne is never sore alone. Going to talk about the four people you need in your life, the importance of accountability. And then I'm actually going to have my business partner, Tamara Aragon. That's going to be our final day. I'm going to have Tamara join us and just talk about um, how God has used like masterminds, coaching, She's a millionaire, loves the Lord, queen of Bible verses, amazing. She's a millionaire. She built her first million and started with nothing. Built her first million dollar business at the age of 20. I mean, God's given her an anointing for kingdom influence. I met Tamara, the, the way I got to know her is I wanted to go, I was leading a mission trip to Thailand to rescue women in sex trafficking. And Tamara said, I'll just write the check, just go. I'm like, okay. So she's a kingdom finance. Some of you may be called to that. So we're going to talk about how to never soar alone, have a network of people who support you and stand with you and believe with you. And then G is just growing for life, being a lifelong learner, having that mindset, um, taking the same amount of time. And this, this has just been so joyous for me to take time each morning to learn and grow and, and be intentional. And we're all the same. And it's so easy for me to go on, you know, and be a passive consumer of nonsense. I don't know what that is about human nature, but I know we're all the same and I have the same temptation. But to put that away, and say, no, I need to grow and grow and grow and learn. And God, I need seed. God, I need seed. God, I need seed. And I talked about that one class, you know, maybe I think for your first one, do it that way. But then for the all the other classes I've created, no, I did two of them free. I did two free class. Three. <laughs> I did three free classes. Yes, I did um, the 90-day renewal. And then I did the 90-day jumpstart. And then I did Beyond Breakthrough. And all three of those I offered free. And then after I created them, I sold them for years afterwards. I created them in 2008, 2009. Yeah. And put them on autopilot. And they bring in passive income years later. And then the rest of my classes, I got paid up front. 
created the class. People paid me to create the class in real time. And then again, continue to sell passive income, passive income. And that's my goal. I don't know what your goal is. My goal is to have all you know, most of my income on autopilot. Create it once, create systems. This is what lifestyle freedom is. And then I can go and, do you guys know? This is gonna take this. I'm moving to Israel for two years to get a master's degree in Middle Eastern studies and to work with the Arab daughters of Deborah, women who are willing to go all over the Middle East to take the gospel to the Muslim world. So I, I, that's what I want to be able to do. Passive income streams, multiple passive income streams. Do the work once and then the income comes in. What have I told you? Yeah, someone's commenting on that. Um, so anyway, Donna, oh, I haven't even gotten to day one yet. So this is kind of the way I am. All right. Okay. 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 Focus is the key to making an impact and an income and having a massive influence online. Focus. I always say, focus, focus, there's no time for hocus pocus. You need to, you need to be laser focused. And what your message is and what your purpose is and not be distracted. Distraction is the number one enemy. And it's the biggest distractions are, you ready? I've got three of them. Self-doubt, comparison, and seeking approval. Those are the three things that are going to knock you out. Oh, I don't know. Did God really say? I don't know. Is this really going to work? Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Self-doubt, comparing yourself to what other people, that's my big one. Well, well, what's someone else doing? No. And then seeking approval because the haters are going to hate. I'm telling you, the haters are going to hate. And the hate and vitriol on the internet is unbelievable. You cannot let it be about you. You need it. Everybody, can you do this? You can't. You'll be in the fetal position. And there are days... I don't get it right, and I'm in the fetal position. Can't let it get to you. But when you're secure in him, you don't have to look out for yourself. God's got your back, and you don't need to fall into the comparison trap, what God is doing in someone else's, you know, online influence, and they've got more fault. Are we allowed to be honest? How many likes someone, who, come on, just maybe be honest. How many likes someone else is getting and how many people are showing up on their Facebook live versus how many are coming to that's what's going to take you down. You're not going to make it. You're going to give up because in the beginning, not many people are going to pay attention to you. Make the commitment before this week is over. You're going to show up at ready or not. Here you come for one year. You're going to show up every day, no matter what, and make a contribution in a specific way. And it's, if you want income, now if you want influence, do, do whatever makes you happy. Just make sure you do it every day. But if you want income, it's got to be a podcast, a YouTube video, Facebook Live, or an Instagram story. Pick one of those. And uh, again, I'm getting so far ahead, but someone asked me, well, what's the best one? The one you'll do. I hate doing videos because I like have to try to do something with my hair. I have to put on makeup. I always have tech issues. I don't like doing videos and I'm not going to do, I don't do it. I need to do a podcast. Okay. Do I need to make the same commitment? Whatever you feel led to do. The best thing for you is the thing that you're really going to do every day for a year. Are you really going to do a one hour Facebook live video every year, every day for a year? If you, if you've got that in you, do it this time next year, you'd be well on the way to financial freedom. I have a, I have a student who did it, watched her do it. She now ties more than she used to earn in a year in her job. I, should I say that again? She tithes more than she used to earn in a year. She came to Lifestyle Freedom, 
took the, you know, took my classes, authority, take your message to the world, put herself out there. Didn't wait till she had it to come with me on this journey. She didn't wait to become an expert on the topic. She said, Hey, I want to do this. Hey, let's all go do this together. And in a year, two years, I mean, she's, she's six figures. I, I think she'll be a millionaire. I, she came to a mission trip with me last year and I prayed over her. I'm like, you're going to be a millionaire, you know? Okay, she's well on the way. And I'll tell you, that's the secret. Showed up every day on Facebook Live for an hour. Make the commitment. Consistency. Show up every day. And that's, I mean, that's how I got started. I, would, I mean, it, be balanced. Donna is never balanced. Donna is like, whoop, whoop. whoop. Uh, <laughs> so don't you, do, you know, that one, I need to work on my role model thing. But I did. I mean, I showed up every day. Every day. I, I look back now, I don't even know how I did it. I don't know how, you know what? I know how I did it. God gave seed to the sower. I would wake up in the morning. I would teach every day for an hour, hour and a half. And I, I didn't even know how I did it. But God was faithful. Always came up with something to say. But, you know, you might want to do just a little short Instagram video. Or a podcast, whatever you pick beyond the scope of what I'm going to cover here. When you're, when you know that God has a place for you, you can be gracious and put others first. I, I want to say this to you because I know that we we're, should be polite and not admit this, but I've been in ministry for 40 years, especially as a woman. I see a lot of women here. Spirit of competition is very prevalent. And I want to tell you something. There is no competition. When you lift up your authentic voice, when you are proclaiming that message that God has given you, there is no competition. There are 8 billion people on the planet there's no shortage of people who need your help. And there are people who are going to resonate with you, with your style, that aren't going to resonate with, with someone else. And that, that's where the confidence comes from. And you can be gracious and cheer for others as God blesses them without comparing and feeling like, you know, that poverty mindset, well, oh, if they get a bigger pie... Uh, they, then there will only be a smaller slice of my a pie left for me. I've shared this before. I was the youngest of eight children. And I sat in a red chair. I, gave, I was in high school, still in a red chair. <laughs> to the right of my mother. And there were 11 people at our dinner table every night. At least 11 every night. Because our uncle lived with us. And the meal started with my mother. My Interesting. My mother sat at the head of the table my father, when he was there to the left, so the food started with my mom and went all the way around to 10 people before it got to me. And I don't think I'm traumatized. Now we'd sit there and think, is there going to be anything left for me? There always was. But just beware of that, of that, is there's not going to be enough for me mindset? Because I know, I just honest it it enters into ministry well, i don't know there might not be enough hurting people who need my help so and so is helping millions there's room for you at the table there's room for you at the table there are people who are going to really resonate with you okay so i just thought of the verse you are my portion oh lord you are my portion and God has a portion for you. He has a place. He has a group of people that he wants you to help. And they're going to be drawn to you when you lift up your voice. They will. They'll be drawn to you. Somebody, somebody made the, uh, the, the joke the other day. I was my neighbor. She's like, how do you meet all these people from like 
foreign countries at the, like I met a guy from Saudi Arabia at the Christian coffee shop two weeks ago. She's like, how do you do? I'm like, I did, because my ears are tuned to that. So if I, I'm like, Ooh, there's a, and then I found another, I found another Muslim lady sitting by the side of the road. She's from Morocco. She's like, how do you find all these Muslims in Jacksonville beach in the middle of a pandemic? When you, when you tune in, God is, you're going to see the people who need you and the people who need you are going to be drawn to you. They're going to hear your voice and they're going to resonate. And when you're securing him, it really sets you free from the tyranny of me. Like it's not about you. And, and I think especially like, oh, well, what will people say if I post this? I'll give you an example. I, I won't name names. But there's a, a Christian minister who has grown to like the highest level of influence in, in, in the country, like to the point of being in the White House. And it all happened because he stepped out to say things that, all the same things that I wanted to say, but I was too afraid to say. I wouldn't say them because I was afraid of what people would think. I was afraid that I'd be attacked. And this other Christian, who very similar, he does a lot of the kind of similar wheelhouse, um, similar calling. He's a man, one of my favorite speakers, actually. And uh, I watched it. God elevated him all the way to the White House because he was secure enough in God, more secure than me. I was still like, ooh, People are going to hate me. People are going to unfriend me. I put out one video on the topic and man, I, I lost so many friends. It was crazy. I, I lost hundreds. They're like, oh no. So God's working on me too. If you really want to have an influence and make a massive income and go to the highest level, you can't be afraid of being controversial. You need to say whatever God's putting on your heart. You need to just go out there with it and not worry about who unfriends you and who gets mad at you and who posts hate. That's what it takes. I was going to do a whole teaching, but we're out of it. I was going to do a whole teaching on soaring. You are going to have, I mentioned this at the beginning. I'm going to give you a handout at the end of each day with all of my notes. I didn't even get to have my notes for day one. Typical, but you'll have them all. And then at the end of the seven days, you'll have a whole book. It's 50 pages already. So it's really substantive. And um, each day has some assignments. Each day has some recommended resor res uh, resources. Uh, most of them are for me and most of them are free. And in fact, one that I recommend, oh, I should say that, I'm, don't say it, I'll post it in the group because there's a special on one of the books that I recommend. It's usually $16 and this week it's free on Kindle. So I'll post that up in the Facebook group. Um, I'll at least go over this a little set, subsection, knowing who you are. Um, what one, I'm getting, there's five of these. What one topic could you talk about all day, every day, and never get sick of talking about it. Enjoy talking about it. One topic, just one. What would you do? And you'll have these questions in, in your handout. What would you do for the rest of your life, even if no one paid you? And it's when my neighbor just said how much he's enjoying uh, this time at home. Again, real time, 2020, I'm recording this live. And I felt the same way. It's like, I've just been studying. I've been studying Hebrew and Arabic and geography and church history. It's like, I would just do that all day long. I would pray for people all day. And even, you know, and of course, no, no one's going to pay you to pray. But I mean, if I could just find a way to make it a living and then I could just spend all day praying for people, what would you do for the rest of your life, even if no one paid you? What would you talk about? The most obvious topic, now this is not for sure, but what's the greatest single obstacle you've overcome? But is it something you want to talk about every day? May or may not be.
What's the greatest accomplishment of your life? Maybe you'd rather talk about that. And I've done both. You know, I spent a lot, a lot of my ministry was talking about my brokenness. My, my years, 20 years in women's ministry was really talking about my brokenness. I had been, you know, I'd been an alcoholic. Then I, I was a teenage alcoholic and a teenage drug addict, a drug dealer, um, the pr promiscuity. I was in an abusive relationship. Um, I think that I, went, I married a Muslim, went through a divorce. I mean, and I, I, a lot of my ministry was sharing out of my brokenness and how God, you know, brought me through on a healing journey. And that's really powerful. But now I'm in a different place. In my, and I do some of that, especially, you want to know what I talk about, the Iraqi women? I, when I told the Iraqi women I married an Iranian, they were like, oh, this is... This, you know, because they're looking at me, right? I'm standing up there. These Muslim women, or track with me, these Muslim women from Iraq, so hungry, so desperate, they risked their lives to walk in to a little Methodist church to hear some American woman. Like, what do I know? And I said, well, I'm married an Iranian. And they're like, oh. So God does, out of, sometimes out of those greatest obstacles, those things that you've overcome your pain. But really now in, in this season, I actually get more enjoyment, much more fulfillment, sharing out of the things that God has blessed me with, being able to write a book, being able to, teach online, being able to work from anywhere and reach people everywhere. In this season of my life, I find that more fulfilling. And so I've made, I've made a shift. So both are equally valid. Both are equally valid. What problems have you solved? What solutions have you found? What answers have you discovered? Is there a group of people ha who have that, um, John is in trouble, but I'm just going to keep going, okay? Just a few more because I do want to, because if I fall too far behind on day one, I'm going to get in trouble. Okay, so I do want to try to cover this. Um, beware the bright, shiny object syndrome. Make a decision this week. Are you going to, you know, who are you going to focus on? What is that one topic that you want to address and stay focused on it? What is that one thing you're going to do every year, every day for a year? Is it posting on Facebook? Is it doing an Instagram story? Is it doing a short YouTube video? You know, in, Instagram, just short. So like 60 seconds. Is it going to be a Facebook Live? It doesn't have to be a full hour. I mean, an hour is great. Whatever you're going to do. And then state, make, I, I actually say a two-year commitment. Make a two-year commitment to that one topic and a one-year commitment to show up every day on it and like starting like now, <laughs> like now, like at the end of the seven days, like, well, then I'm going to have to get ready. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just need to start. And then operate in intentional, selective ignorance. On this, that's a good one, right? Operate in intentional, selective. You know, I'm just not going to know a lot of other things. That's kind of where I'm right now. Like, I would love to learn Instagram, but no. I mean, you might, no, mm -mm, no. I just, no, I can't. I'm trying to learn Hebrew and Arabic. And, I'm, I'm you know, my, my big thing is my mailing list. And I'm doing autoresponders. And blah, 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 blah. no, I just, not now. At some point, yes. Now, no. So you need to do the same. Like, I, you know what? I, I'm just not right now. I'm not going to learn about that. Right now, I'm not going to talk about that. This is what I'm doing. I, this one topic on this one platform for one year, that's it. Know who you serve. Who else is on that same journey that you're on? Who needs those same results? Who needs those same in, uh, outcome? Who's asking the same questions? Is it a fairly large group of people? Enough to form a tribe? 
and I, I'm going to say more about this as we go on, you really only need a thousand true fans to make an impact and an income on the internet. So you're like, oh, there's eight billion, come on. There's eight billion people on the planet. You don't think you can help a thousand of them? You have the mind of Christ. You have the, the counselor, <laughs> the Holy Spirit. You don't think you can help a thousand people in a life-changing way? Of course you can. And will people pay you if you want to make an income? Challenge questions? Probably leave you. I think I already said this. Oh, I'll give you an example. This is a great example. Narrow is the way I want to give an example. Once upon a time, you could do something like I did. Oh, let's get healthy in spirit, soul, and body. I don't think you could do that anymore. It needs to be narrow. Everybody should get healthy or simple green smoothies for busy stay-at-home moms. You know what? That la the latter idea, the narrow, simple green smoothies for busy stay-at-home moms, that's a million dollars. That's a million dollar idea, narrow. And this is what you're gonna struggle with. But ask Holy Spirit, narrow. And we're gonna see more about this in the days that come. Challenge questions. What needs to go? What needs to be removed from your life to make room for you to give your laser focused attention to this one topic this one task and really owning it. What needs to go? Come on, do you just never get a kidder? You, d come on, you know, you, at least an hour a day you're wasting right now. I don't know if it's cat, I don't see, I don't do cat videos, but I do like the dog rescue videos. Is it Netflix? I, it's, you are, I love you, okay? I guarantee. You are wasting an hour a day. There's no way you're not. You are. You are. There's something that needs to go to make room for this. And then what needs to come? And this, you need to just write it down. These are your prayer requests. It's like, Lord, I can't, you know what? I'm going to, this is what I need from you, Lord. What, who are the people? What are the resources? What needs to come into your life? What knowledge, what revelation, what tools? And you don't need, sometimes you don't even know what you're like, Lord, I don't even know what I, I don't even know what I need. But God knows what you need. Isn't that great? We have a father who knows what you need even before, you, like he already knows. What needs to go? Take both of these, Holy Spirit. Lord, what needs to go? And what needs to come into my life? And just be positioning yourself. I did it. I made it through. And then you've got your assignments. As soon as this wraps, I will post the day one work, a uh, little mini workbook. And in that, you have your day one assignments and your day one resources at the end of each day. Of course, the video will be there and you'll have your workbook. And then at the end, I'll put it all together into one. It's already 50 pages. So it's substantive. Um, what else do I want to tell you? I'll talk more about it on day, um, on day seven, but I want to at least make you aware that I do in depth training. I take seven days each year and I really do an immersion experience and invest in a very deep way into those who feel called to make an impact and an income as kingdom influencers and it's called seven days to freedom and you can go to seven days to freedom.com and learn more about the next event and um it's really powerful really life-changing some of my just closest people that i love in this world that i partner with and am committed to seeing go to the highest level of influence for the kingdom are people who've been with me for that kind of intimate seven day encounter. I'm gonna wrap up day one, day one, secure in him. The one who called you is faithful and he will do it. One of my favorite verses in the Bible. Lord, we thank you for this great beginning. I think, I hope, I pray technology cooperated. Thank you for those who joined me live. Thank you for those who will see 
uh, this in the coming days. And I pray that it would be a breakthrough time that many would be tossed out of the nest. Mama Eagle here tossing the babies out of the nest and that many will look back to this seven day online influence challenge as the moment that they got kicked out of the nest and found you. Yeah, I can fly. I didn't think I could. That's what those wings were there for. Okay. I could do this. Lord, make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen for your kingdom and for your glory. Because we love you and you're just completely worth it.